recording? It is! Welcome to KSP, this is the demo. I have not done anything at all for a while. And it's because life's been getting really busy, and work, and being a parent, and some other stuff going on. But here I am, and we had some members in our Facebook group that were playing the demo for the first time, and what we're going to do today is we're going to go into orbit and back. Very simply. I should have tutorials for tutorials. This is going to be a very simple mission. We're going to go up and down, and pretty much that's it. Now, if you haven't bought the full version of the game, don't worry. But if you have, you're going to notice some things that are missing. So there is our Mark 1 capsule. Right there in all its glory. My typical little flag I always pick, which is a nice addition to now in the demo. So we'll need a parachute because crew survivability is of paramount importance. And we need a way to get this capsule back down. So when I think of a mission, I do stuff backwards. I'll do the crew return vehicle first, and then I'll start worrying about how they're going to get back, and then I'll worry about how to get them up into it. So this will be our service module. I'll throw on some of these guys here. Solar panels. And you can extend... Oh, you cannot. That's in the full version of the game. You can right-click and extend them and see how they look. But that doesn't work in this version. We'll put on some batteries. Put them up there. So that's what's going to finish off our orbit and get us back from orbit. So let's get a a system in place to get them up into space. Now what I'm doing here is I'm holding down Alt and then I click on a thing and it basically copies everything from the part down. And probably don't need eight tanks. Probably can get by with six. You know what? Yeah, we can do, we can do eight. Alright, so I want to copy that and put that to the side and I'll show you why in a minute. We're gonna go like this. This is probably gonna be a bit overkill, but oh well, there is no kill like overkill, right? Alright. So I have five engines with five sets of fuel tanks. Now, that's not all. But wait, there's more. Now all five engines are going to be in the same stage. When I hit spacebar, boom, all five of these engines will ignite. Then these side decouplers, which is so lovely highlighted by the green, they'll toggle. Then finally they'll get rid of that center stack. Now, why would I want to do that? I got all five engines burning at once. It makes no sense to have these on separate stages. But actually, it totally does, and I'll show you why. So if you hold down shift and hit Z, or X, sorry, it toggles backwards through your symmetry tool. So I want one-way staging, one-way symmetry, go like that. I just, pardon me, just like before, if I hold down Alt, I can select it and go like this, like that. Let's do this over here. Okay, now what have I just done? called parallel staging. Now how it's set up here isn't going to work because I got all these side tanks being dumped at once, so I got to break them up into a group. So I deselect them all. This works in the demo, the full version is a little bit wonkier. And I go, hmm, that's that one right here, which is from here to here. And then this one is from here, this side tank into the center stack. So I want to take that one and the opposite one. Hold down. Control. No, you don't. Okay, never mind. Forgot how to select multiples at once. There we go. Alright, so now I got two. Two. So now I'll have all five engines burning at once, and then this one and this one will drop off first, and then I'll be left with three engines in a row. That'll be good. So let's get some wings on this guy for controllability's sake. And we probably need to think about control because we don't have any gimbaled engines at all. So what we'll do is we'll hack those on there like that. Those are flywheels. 
I'll put some nose codes on it. And now one of the things that the demo added, which is in line with the rest of the game, is the offset tool. So let's say we hide hide those little protective air shells. Nose cones, all right. That looks legit. And now we need some struts. Base tape. Hitting C turns off snapping to grid. Usually I don't have snapping to grid turned on, or off rather, unless you want to do find control with the offset or the rotate tool. So if I want to rotate this whole set of stuff, I can go like this and make it look really derptastically awesome. And then if I say, well, that looks horrible, let's hit spacebar and get rid of that because we don't need to. I'll need some more space tape down here. Like that, making sure it doesn't interfere with our fuel lines. And I think that about does it. This is probably a bit overkill for an orbital mission, but that's okay. It's only 36,000 credits, which is actually not much. We'll go ahead and name it. We'll name it Fantastic. Who's our crew member today? Sure, it'll be Jeff again. Sanity check on my staging. Yep, that all looks good. We'll go ahead and launch. It's also been really hot lately. <laughs> this is Hawaii and it, it, it's, I don't like sweating and it's like really high humidity. We've got a tropical storm moving in the area in the next couple days and it's really not fun. But hey, just like this, we're all good. So. Oh, that's loud. I might have to change my volume. Just a little bit, because that's going to be ear-splittingly loud for folks. That looks better. Alright. And what we'll do is we will heal over to the east a bit. Just some. And then after a bit... We'll tell Jeb to maintain prograde and will the gravity do its thing. If you hit C while in this view, you get to see all the camera shaking glory that is the view in the cockpit and don't put the window and you go, whoa, I see sky and water. Hitting C can back you out of that. Alright, so I'm coming up on the stage. Boom, there they go. And because they have the decouplers way up at the top of the stage, they shove the stage violently away from the spacecraft, which is what we want. And now I'll do it like this, so when they get detached off, I don't have to worry about them hitting the rest of the rocket, because sometimes that's a thing and it sucks. Let's nose down a bit, because our ascent's a little steep, that's okay. We over-engineered this thing quite a bit, so I'm not too worried about it. You can tell I'm a little bit off from 90 degrees. So it's not going to be a perfectly equatorial orbit, but that's okay. We're, not, we're just worried about getting up there into space. We're not worried about perfection yet. And I can tell that our orbit's going along nicely. We're about to clear atmosphere, which is anything above 70,000 meters on Kerbin. <laughs> So let's just go up to 80,000 and we'll cut thrust. X kills your engines. Go. I still got some of these side boosters left a little bit in these bottom two tanks. So I could actually just jettison those guys and be done with it. And off they float nice and gracefully. All right, now because I don't have the engines turning, I have no alternator power from the uh, turbo pumps of the engine, so we need those solar panels. And they'll automatically face towards the sun if they can. It shows you how much exposure they get, how much energy they're getting, they're generating. Like one point something or other. Not quite two, but enough. So, map view. When I get about 20 seconds away from apoapsis, I'll go full throttle. I don't have to burn quite yet. Wait. In fact, if you get tired of waiting, you can use the period and comma keys to speed up summoning. There we go. 
Now, because I don't have a vectoring or a gimbaled engine... Uh, it's looking a little shabby. Let's air up some. So, I see my time to apoapsis is... was decreasing. It's barely decreasing now. This will be good. I need to pick up about a thousand meters per second. Let's go angle up a little bit more off my prograde marker. A little more. See it beginning to pull away from me? Because I'm burning it a, a way that's like angled up away from my flight vector. So it's like I'm trying to pull up to avoid hitting the ground, which is really literally what I'm trying to do. So now that it's pulling away faster, I'll just tell Jeb to maintain prograde and that'll be it. And we'll look here to see how it's doing. That's looking alright, I got plenty of fuel still. That'll put us in orbit. I'll kill thrust on this just before hitting orbit because I don't want to put a piece of debris up here. Yeah, like that. Okay. That looks a bit weird. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why is my decoupler there? Alright, so... Usually it's supposed to detach, but anyway. Alright, there we go. That's orbit, and now the camera has changed radically to show that, yes, we're in orbit. That looks all pretty cool. And that's getting into space. In fact, we can even tell Jebediah, hey, let's get out and get a view. There he is floating away from a spacecraft without a tether. Oh no, what are we going to do? Hit R. Jetpack time. You can scoot around using the WASD keys. And Q and E to rotate around. Of course, you, don't, you do have a finite supply of propellant, as seen here. So it's not good to just burn all that mess up. So let's get back on F and then B. Back inside. Now we want to get home, but I want to try to get close to KSC. So we'll zip around the dark side of the planet here. Focus back on our spacecraft. Oh, that was a piece of debris. It disappeared. Plunged into atmosphere. What I wanted. No debris, yay. Alright, so one of the things you can do is you see the crater here. The big giant desert. You can do a burn around in this area. Retrograde. Which I can select T and tell, hey Jeb, guess what? Why don't you get you home? Go ahead and face this way. Because that pretty much points the, the window of the spacecraft up in relation to the ground. So now that we're base retrograde, I can see KSC is right here. So I'm going to be off some, but I can fix that. You know what? Let's do like that. Now I'm facing north. If I burn, you can see my orbit changing. Now I do retrograde. It should put me more or less where ASC is going to be. So I'm going to put it somewhere in the ocean here, and hopefully I don't totally overshoot, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Atmosphere drag is going to be a thing. And this is about 15 minutes, not even 15, it's like 7 minutes of orbit time. If that. This is where I am not that skilled at the game, actually. Now, I know I couldn't retract those panels before, there's not even an option to retract them. I could extend them, but I can't retract them. And they're flipping through my batteries, but they don't seem to care. Not a problem. So, let's turn off capsule torque. Jettison our service module. And we'll fast forward a bunch because we can. Once we hit atmosphere, 70,000 meters, we will get kicked out of time warp. And that's about it. So now, 2200 meters per second, roughly, and accelerating because we're being pulled down towards the planet. We're falling. Oh, there's my service module. There. Debris. Derptastic debris. 
So you can use Fizz Warp to accelerate while you're in atmosphere or running on the ground or whatever else you're doing. Doing a burn or something. And we're going to see fireworks here. We see the stars go away around the spacecraft. Now we're kind of in the high, high fringes of atmosphere. And once we see reentry effects, I'm going to slow us way down out of fizz warp and we'll let the magic of atmosphere bring us down safely. By any second now, we'll see some fireworks. There is KSC right there. We're going to overshoot. <laughs> we're going much too fast. All right, there is my reentry effects. The stock demo does not include a heat shield, so we have to hope this works. But you can see we're already slowing down here. In fact, we can go through here and see the fire outside the window. Air getting stripped apart into plasma. Parachute turns black for some reason. I'm not sure what that is. It's a physics glitch or something. If you want to see how hot everything is on your spacecraft, you hit F11. That turns on an overview of how hot things are getting. And my capsule's a little warmer than the parachute. Disable that again. Yeah, see, there's KSC. I done skipped right over it. Oh well. Life goes on. Hopefully we won't die. But this seems pretty sedate. I mean, we're 16,000 meters up and we've got re-entry effects, but we're slowing down pretty good. A nice shallow re-entry angle. If I plowed very vertical down into it, I'd have a lot of problems. So, we're not doing that today. Now it's a simple matter of waiting to see if this thing is going to survive re -entry. I think we'll be okay, but I still got a lot of speed to bleed off. It looks like our speed's bleeding off faster than our altitude's dropping. So I think we'll be fine. Up, oh, and suddenly the parachute's visible. Now, on the full version of the game, there's a button, there's, an ad, there's a status window that shows here if it's safe to deploy your chute or not. That doesn't happen with the demo, not yet anyway. So, we're going to wait some, toggle that. We're going to get to like 1,500 meters and then we'll toggle it, so we're going to wait. Now, because it's a water landing, it's what you see here is what you get for altitude. If you were in the spacecraft, you'd have to look at this gauge here and say, yeah, that's 1,500 meters. And then, boom, violent <laughs> opening to shoot. And I'm like, hmm, I gotta wait all this time now. I probably could have waited. But that's okay, that's what Fizz Warp is for again. Because we all have things to do and people to see. And Now the shoot fully deploys. I gotta wait even longer now, since we're only falling 4 meters a second with 300 meters to go. Do some math, it's gonna be a bit. But that's getting into orbit and getting back, and I had field to spare to putz around and change orbits, but I really didn't uh, use it like I could have. I dumped quite a bit of the spacecraft away, actually. Threw it away. The bean counters probably aren't liking me for that. I just threw money out. Still doesn't grow on trees, and neither does hardware, so... There you go, splash down. Does it want to float like that? Uh, kind of. Mm, not really, not very stable. Anyway, hit escape, bring up the menu. I can go like that, or I can just say recover vessel. And bam! That was a mission! Ready for next assignment. So, that was that. I thank you all for watching, and you all have a great day.